Hi friends, welcome back to Arc Tutorials. This is RxJS full tutorial series for absolute beginners. Today we are going to learn a new operator which is called take while. And if you remember in the last episode we learned about operator called take. Very similar, very similar in terms of behavior of it but an extension to what take does. We'll learn all about it in today's episode so make sure you check out the previous episode uh, because since it's related and since it's in the same playlist it makes sense if you learn all the operators together. This is part 12 of the RxJS full tutorial playlist. Uh, please do subscribe to keep supporting me. Thank you in advance. So today we are in episode number 12 learning about operator number 7 which is take while. So what does take while do? In the last episode I showed you take operator which will take a certain number of value right uh, let's say take n take 2 that means it will take the it will take emit only two values but take while will take the value and check with the condition okay whether the condition is met or not it will stop when the condition is met okay so that's what um, the take while does okay so let me show you with an example and it will be much clearer to you Let's get started and here I am. So this is what was the last um, operator that we did. We did take 5. right? So now I'm going to write take while. Okay. So what is this going to do? Here it says clearly it will give a predicate and then arrow function the value is any. Okay. So here you can say value and here I'm going to define a check mm, condition. Right. This is again any condition that we want to provide in our application. So here I'm going to write check condition and here I'm going to say value. So see here this is the same definition. Okay, It has to have the same definition. Now here it is saying no overload matches predicate is void Okay, because it has to do a boolean return here if you see. Okay, so it will return a boolean. So here we are going to, going to write a condition that a return. I'm going to say this dot. Uh, oh, sorry. Value, if value is less than three, return true or false. Or instead of less, I'm going to make it greater than three, then false. If it is greater than three, don't do anything. If it is less than three continue doing this whatever is in the subscribe okay that's what this condition means so take a look at again take while says it will take the value value of this particular changes but since we have value uh, so since ours is a string I'm going to say value dot length is greater than 3 stop okay five okay so here I'm saying whatever value comes from this particular form right see this V is will be the value that the user is typing that value I'm passing it to a method which is called check condition what does check condition do it will check if this value is values length the string length is greater than 5 then false else continue okay simple so basically with take while we can define and do some conditional operations like if you have some logical things that you want to build you can do that okay now let's see this in action so now I'm going to say this it will print because one two three four characters this is but it will stop at I because one two three four five the length has reached maximum which is five right so basically it will check this condition return true or false whether to continue or stop just like your while loop in any programming languages right so in short take while is something that you can pass a condition and check that condition is true or false if it is true it will continue doing this work uh, that is debounce and then subscribe and then console log right if not if it is false it will just stop here it will not do anything further Right? I hope you find this operator useful and you you practice with me. Let me know if you have any questions or doubts in the comment section. The next one is pretty related and it says take last. No points for guessing. 
it will this particular operator will help you take the last value of that particular observable that is emitting the last value right we'll learn about it we'll do some hands-on so stay tuned for that episode also if you like my work and tutorials please do consider buying me a coffee at buymeacoffee.com slash art tutorials please do subscribe to my channel thank you so much for joining